and this is the frame of uh, your iPhone. Now sometimes, as you can see over here, a piece of glass will stick, so you can either use a pry tool or a screwdriver, and you can just kind of take it off. Make sure the area is flat though, because when you put the new glass, you don't want any kind of dust particles or anything that would make the surface uneven. So now you're going to want to take the new piece, which is a digitizer LCD for the iPhone 4. You're going to bend this part just like that, just a little bit. And it is very important that when you put this through this hole over here, that you pull through both cables. I will show you that in a second. As you can see, they came out over here, and you're going to want to make sure that both of them come out. And you can check by looking over here. And once they come right out, just like that, they're both out. As you can see, you're going to want to close it off, just like that. And you see, the reason they have the washers is because this happens. But once that's in place, you can go ahead and put the phone down. And one by one, start screwing in the screws. Once you have successfully screwed in back all the screws, you can go ahead and place the motherboard back into the frame. Now, the motherboard does sort of lay in place. There are a couple of screws that need to get matched up. And once it's in there, You can go ahead and screw the watermark screw, which is the one with the white head. Oops. Move the little paper just to make it easier. Screw the ones right there. Motherboard just has to snap, snap in right there. Next, you're going to take the screw, which uh, looked bigger than a little bigger than others, and it goes right over here. Once that screws in place, you can go ahead and take your camera. Now, there's a little piece on the camera, this little piece. It slides in right under the motherboard, under the connectors. Just like that. You can go ahead and snap it right in. Just like that. Once that's in, you can go ahead and start connecting the cables one by one. You should feel them go in. This way you know they're connected. There's five cables. Two, three, the new LCD, which is four. And five, which is the glass. Once that's in, you can go ahead and screw in your vibrating module. Okay. Once the vibrating module is in place, you're going to want to connect the charging port. Now, I recommend you connect this part of the charging port first, prior than screwing it in, because it is a bit tough to get this connector to connect. Once it is connected, you're just going to want to slide it in under the motherboard, and it's supposed to sit in its place. Now there are two screws, one on the left, one on the right, that need to be screwed in.
followed by one more on the right. Once that is in place, you can glue back the connector and it should sit back in its port. Once it snaps in, the little black tab goes on top. It's important when you're doing this repair to have like I earlier like I early It's important when you're doing this repair like I mentioned earlier to have all the screws in order because they all look alike and some of them won't fit in other places so you're going to want to have it going in order so you don't put something where it doesn't belong. Once that's in, you're going to want to put this metal tab back to cover this stuff. And it's supposed to sort of just sit there. And you can go ahead and screw them back in. Now the biggest screw goes in the middle, in the top. Once you have placed it there, you're going to want to screw the screws back in. There's five of them, remember? that is screwed in you're almost done you just have to place the battery back into its place you're gonna want to keep this like this just in case you ever need to take your battery out again now once the battery sits in you snap it back in make sure that it's sitting tight and just screw this screw back in Take the cover, place it just like that, and slide the phone shut. Just like that. Sometimes you have to push it a little bit, but once it's in, you're good to go. Close the back cover, you're going to want to place the two bottom screws and screw them back in. And then you're going to want to make sure that everything works. And there you have it. The iPhone 4 take apart and repair video. If you have any questions, feel free to email us or call us. Uh, all the information could be found on www.ztron.com as well as all the parts and the professional videos. Just to show you a sneak peek of our next video, and what we have in stock now are the new iPhone 4 digitizer, LCD, and back cover. As you can see, these are all OEM parts. And all of this could be found on Ztron.com.